right, guys, I'm here with Nate from uh, Crosshair Tactics, and uh, we're going to go through um, what it takes to qualify for your New Jersey concealed carry permit. Uh, Nate, can you tell us about yourself and then about the qualification? Yeah. So, um, my name is Nate, Crosshair Tactics. Um, I am a certified NRA instructor for a basic pistol. Um, for New Jersey, you need to satisfy the qualification of going through a basic pistol course, which with my course, it's done online through Zoom in the comfort of your own home. And then we come out to the range and we do a lot of dry fire. I make sure that all your stuff is good, that you're able to shoot on target before we even get into the firing. And then we get into our shooting portion of the range. Yep, and we're gonna treat this like I don't have my permit already. And I'm coming here uh, with no experience like most people may have. Um, and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go over to the next range over and, uh, and we'll get started with the first step, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. All right guys, so we're just setting up a range here. This is kind of like uh, not the normal place where the qualification's done. That range is occupied over there. So we're setting up uh, the markers for the different uh, the different qualification steps. We could talk about that too in a minute. Uh, we'll, we'll break it down every step um, just so that you know what you're getting into when you come out. Qualify. Calibrated foot for me. Sorry about. There's going to be some firing because it's an active range. So. FBIQ. It's okay. What is mandated by New Jersey. Standard deal. Yes, sir. And what are the requirements for when I shoot this? Like, let's say I miss. Okay, so you know, what do I, how many do I have to get or? So you have to get at 80%. So every shot outside of this silhouette, is going to be minus two. Okay. So 50 shots, every, everyone that's out is minus two. You have to get 80 or better. In okay. Order to pass. All right. Um, if you have one that's halfway out, halfway in, as the judgment call. The counts. So um, if you break the, if you break the white, you know, we'll call it. Yeah. Call it but good. If it, technically, if it's more into the gray. We're, we're going to call that a no-go. Okay, all right. Um, but, you know, aiming, center mass, at the cue every time. Uh, and then, so what is, what's the course of fire? I see you put some cones out here. So the course of fire, we're going to start out at the five-yard line. That's going to be a one-handed shoot shooting. So I tell my students, load up one magazine, either have your hand on your chest or behind your back. You're going to take five rounds at that target once they're done. They can safely transition their that weapon to their non-shooting hand five rounds after those five rounds are done they're going to reload their weapon step back to the seven yard line seven yard line is going to be normal shooting two-handed shooting punch out 10 rounds it's going to be the same thing from the 7 10 15 and 25 yard line and then we're at the end of our course okay of so 50 rounds total 50 is rounds what it comes total. out to okay and there's no time, just no time, as, no long time as, you're, as long as you're not like course. lingering, right? And exactly. So being. Basically what I'm looking for is that you're comfortable with your weapon, you're proficient with it, you know how to use it, and you can engage that target proficiently. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start the first step today. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be using my P320 M17 for the qualification and yeah. So let's get to it. I'll set you up on tripod. Absolutely. Shooters, load one, ten to your weapon. Identify your target. Five rounds. Five rounds. Safely transition that weapon into your non shooting hand. Fire when ready. Holster your weapon. You notice while he's shooting, I am watching where he's shooting and how he's shooting. So I can fix any bad habits while you're shooting. Um, for him, he is a very good shot, so there's not much that I can fix. Also, he was leaning pretty far back That's while he was guy. shooting. Yeah. But he was so we're going to move back to the seven yard line. Sure. 10 rounds. Go ahead and load your magazine. 
Normal two-handed shooting. Ten rounds. Fire when ready. Tighten holster your weapon. Ten yard line. Ten yard line. So, while we load this magazine, uh, what are we doing at this stage? Okay, so we're into our two-handed shooting. One-handed shooting is done. Um, we're going to move back to the 10-yard line. We're going to move back to the 10-yard line, and we're going to continue our two-handed shooting, 10 rounds, first, first per, uh, fire iteration. It is a very cold day. No, it is cold. It was windy, but this, this lane's actually cut the wind down a lot. Okay, so I have one magazine that's ready to go. But... To, I guess what, what um, when it comes to the cold and things like that, you want to get out to a, a, an outdoor range because when you're really in the thick of it, if there's an active shooter or something's happening, you want to know that you can perform under certain conditions, whether it's cold outside or extremely hot outside, you know, or you're running and your heart rate's going, you're out of breath, you want to make sure that you can shoot. Yeah, you're not always time. going to be shooting under the it's not most gonna be ideal conditions. conditions. Exactly. We train like we fight. Okay, so we're at the 10 yard line. Okay. Shooter, load your weapon. Identify your target, 10 rounds, 10 rounds. Fire when ready. Holster your weapon. We're going to move back to the 15. See, we're going to hit the 25. He doesn't seem like he's having much of a problem, which is why I had to take some shots at top of that outside the silhouette so that we can show you guys what it looks like and how he counts off if you go outside that white silhouette. Yeah. So oh, I was going to miss some back here. No, you weren't. I was going to miss some. <laughs> I don't think your pride can handle that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start. Make sure we have our eyes and ears on. Shooter, load your weapon. 10 rounds, identify your target, fire when ready. Safely holster your weapon and move to the 25 yard line. I told you I'd miss some. 25 yard line, we are at the finish line. I can tell already, um, unless, I mean, even if he dumps every round outside that silhouette, he will still pass. All right, so, shooter. Close your final 10 round magazine into your weapon. Identify your target, fire when ready. 10 rounds, 10 rounds. Alright, uh, now I guess we'll go talk about the, the scoring. Yeah. Okay, okay, so. I'm looking at his grouping right here. I'm very comfortable with his shot. He was pulling that trigger fairly quickly, but he was still getting a nice grouping. Um, don't worry about this up here. This was just me messing around. But if you look over here, he knocked three out. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was done purposely. Um, so that would be two shots each. So two, four, six points off um, his final score, which on my certificate that you get from Crosshair Tactics that you will turn into your local police department or state police it will have a score of a 94. Um, but he did very good, like I said. I'm comfortable with this. He's very proficient in his weapon. He's following every, everything that I've explained to him um, and everything that he's learned throughout the years of shooting. Um, but when it comes to how instructors set up their, their shooting range and how they're gonna run their cert certificates, New Jersey isn't, they're vague on what they want. So if you, if you know how to read law, you shouldn't have any problems with it, but if you do not know how to read law, you go into it, New Jersey tells you to follow 2C whatever, you have to go into that 2C law, and then that 2C law will tell you that they follow H, HCQ1 and HCQ2. So then you have to go find out what that requires. Um, but ultimately it comes down to the uh, instructor certifying you. If they feel comfortable enough that they don't need you doing kneeling, they don't need to time it, 
um, that's on them. My course, we do do one-handed shooting because that is within the ACQ-1 setup. Um, we can take away what we can't add to. Like, I can't have him turn his weapon upside down and shoot. That's not fair. Um, so we, we can add to, or I'm sorry, we can take away what we can't add to. Um, so that's why I do the 5 to the 25, and the hardest stance you're probably going to do is the one-handed shooting, but I do that at the 5-yard line. So it shouldn't be any problem. And again, any issues that people have or anything that I can catch, I absolutely correct it so that they can get the best score possible. Yeah, and uh, my actual qualification that I took was a little different from this. And you'll find that uh, as you go, if you go to different instructors, they might have a slightly different um, requirements for their yeah. qualification. Uh, but this is generally what it looks like. Um, it's nothing to be scared of if you're generally proficient with your firearm you should be able to pass with no problem and if you don't pass you can work with the instructor yeah. and they will uh, coach you and teach you along the way and you'll you'll get it it's not something to be scared of it's not some un unobtainable super hard yeah. qualification it's, it's actually pretty basic uh, I did throw these shots on purpose out here and this was uh, I went to go reload my magazines and Nate Besides, I couldn't help myself. Take this guy out. So, <laughs> and and to kind of add to that, when you're looking for an instructor, look at their reviews. Go on Google. Go on Yelp. Whatever. Look at their reviews. Uh, most of my reviews include the fact that the my students were comfortable, they had fun, and it was safe. That's that's what I'm about. That that's my courses. I don't want anyone stressed out. I don't want anyone so nervous that they can't take the shot. Um, because in my personal opinion. As citizens of the United States, we should, not have to, we should not have to go through this program. So seeing that New Jersey mandates it, it should be comfortable as possible. Um, so again, Yeah, we differ a little bit there, which is not a problem. Because mm -hmm. I think that you should you should uh, be able to demonstrate that you're proficient and safe with your firearm. And, and more on my, the, the point that I was making was it shouldn't be mandated, but there should be incentives to do it. Right. Um, what those incentives would detail that 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 should be hashed out you know with the with the lawmakers but you know we have a right to carry our and bear arms um so other states do not mandate it but i, I think it'll be really cool to see you know the state do uh incentives um and gather instructors like myself and pay pay us to do the courses so that you as citizens don't have to do it right yeah. um, don't have to pay it i should say and just incentivize it you know you're getting training um, any training that I give should be taken out and um, applied whenever you go to the range. So, so what, what makes you an instructor? Like what kind of background do you have? Uh, what, how did you become a... Uh, so I, I spent 10 years in the military um, with the 10th Mountain Division. I, I, when I exited the military, I became a police officer. Um, I've always loved shooting. I've always taken those opportunities to learn. I hung out. Whenever the SWAT team went to the range, I, I took my own time. I went to the range. Whenever you know, the rifle guys went out to the range. I took it upon myself to go out and do it because I just, I love training and I, and weapons. Just I, it's my comfort. It's what I do to relax and um, decompress. So taking all that, I um, I ended up uh, getting hurt really bad on the job. Um, my back is full of metal right now, um, and you know, unfortunately, I can't do that job anymore. So I took all my knowledge, everything that I have, and I applied it to this. And what I did was I had to go through the NRA. I had to be certified for basic pistol course, just like I certify people now. And then you have to go through an instructor's class. And on top of the instructor's class, I am also an RSO. That's a range safety officer. Um, so that's an extra course that I took because I want my students to be as safe as possible. And I want to be able to tell them, hey, this is what I have. Um, but I'm also continuing my education with this, going into rifles, going into training kids, um, because the NRA has a lot of those classes already set up. But you must be certified for from the NRA or PTC, which PTC instructors are hard to come by because they're actually certified by the state and they're more so training police officers, um, which I am also looking to do myself um, okay. through this through this wonderful journey. <laughs> nice. Um, if someone's interested in uh, taking a course from you or qualifying yeah. with you, how do mm -hmm. they how do they get in contact with you? 
So um, there's a couple ways that you get in contact with me. Um, and the link below, I will add my information, my, my business card, but you can also go over to my website, which is crosshairtactics.com. Um, on there, you can click the little message box, that will message me directly. You can see all my prices, you can book from my website. Um, but if you have any questions, please hit that message link, it goes directly to me, and I will answer your questions to the best of my ability. If I can't answer your question for some reason, I will go get you an answer because I'm not going to give you false information. Right. And he meets the message uh, option on his website. Yes. If you, if you want to put a comment in a video, that's fine. I'll, I'll see, I'll get the comments um, and I can put you in touch with, uh, with Nate, but um, yeah. like, head over to his website. There will be a link in the description and we're located in South Jersey. Uh, is this Camden County or Gloucester? This, this is Camden County, right? Yes, this is Camden County. Yeah. Um, a lot of my guys come from Camden and Burlington County. I have had a couple guys come from um, up near Seagirt to right, come yeah, take my Atlanta course. Um, a lot of the instructors right now with uh, different ranges that are on the state website, they are so far behind. Um, and I'm kind of taking some of those people because I don't have a wait list right now. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I go off of my student schedule because I have an open schedule. I mean, I have kids, I have a family, but um, when it comes to this, you know, I can I can drop what I'm doing. I can go get the training. Uh, and one big thing I also tell my students: don't stop with your CCW. Don't stop once you get your your concealed carry. Train, train, train. Because if that moment ever happens, you you want to know that you can take care of business. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's about it. All right. Um, Videos to come. Yeah. We'll be posting up some more stuff. Uh, Nate, you have a YouTube channel yes, as I well. Do. So I think we're gonna dual upload this. So you might be watching it on Nate's channel. If you're on uh, my channel, there's a link in the description to head over to Nate's channel, which will be more firearms related. Uh, as you guys know, I do a lot of automotive stuff. Uh, so it might not be your jam. Um, so if guns are your jam. Guns and cars, yeah. you can't guns go wrong. Cars, yeah. Guns and cars, yeah. Guns and cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. And Thank you. I hope this video helped you out. We'll see you next time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> gun, gun, gun. Holster. You fucking really killed that target. Dude. I killed him, man. Well, <laughs> reading someone's information, and they pull a gun on us. That's the, or someone's standing in front of us. Okay. That's the best way for us to drop, pull. All right. If you have enough ammunition, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I carry the little guy. Yeah. You know, just. <laughs> There's no ammo in there. What the hell? <laughs> gun, gun, gun.